Hey guys, uh, gonna do another little test on our Nature's Generator Elite. Um, right now, I have it running off of, uh, it's plugged into the wall, so you can see, it's gonna focus here. It has a uh, uninterrupted power supply. And plugged into it now, we have the same freezer that I had in the first video, uh, 5.3 cubic foot upright freezer and then if we follow this orange cord around plugged in over here uh into this deal here we have a chest freezer uh, i don't know the cubic foot off that off the top of my head it's not a real big one but uh, you can see there, it's a chest freezer just full of random food stuff. Had a Costco run last night. And we also have the basement refrigerator, which you can see with the door open, the light is on, and it is, it is uh, operational. And what we're going to do is just simulate a power outage and see how long... This will last throughout the day, plugged into two freezers and a refrigerator. So if we unplug it from the wall, that will simulate the power outage. And now you can see that it is currently no longer running on its uninterrupted power supply, that we are running just off of the battery power of the generator. I'll uh, come down and check on it periodically throughout the day. We'll see how long the battery lasts today. Uh, it is currently 6.40 a.m. on Thursday. And uh, we'll check back in in a little bit. Alright, 7.09. And we are pulling... 461 watts and you can see the battery line is starting to come down just off a of full a little bit uh, it sounds like the refrigerator and uh, maybe the chest freezer are cycling right now so we'll check back after a little while and see if the wattage comes down and keep an eye on it see how long the battery lasts throughout the day Just after 8 o'clock, and we are now at 312 watts. The battery's come down one full bar off of the full on the battery meter. And uh, you can see we're not running anywhere near to the maximum capacity as far as the wattage goes. So we'll give it a few more hours. Check it out again. We're at about 10.45 now. And uh, you can see we've come down. It's coming down off of the third line down to the second line there. And uh, pulling 188 watts currently. I'm going to keep it on a couple more hours. And uh, then I'll probably plug it back into the on an uninterrupted power supply um in the time that it's been running we haven't opened up any of the fridge or freezer doors it's just kind of been running on its own and the idea here is that if the power goes out and i'm not home or if nobody's home this will keep our basement freezers and refrigerator running so we don't have any food spoilage um in the event that i was home I would probably just uh, run a line from my gas generator down to the uh, AC input here and uh, just keep it charged like an uninterrupted power supply off of my gas generator. So let's check back in a couple hours and see if we come down to the first line, then I'll probably just plug it back in. Now we're uh, we're down to about our final battery line. You can 
see we're still pulling some watts there we're at about uh quarter to one so we've been running about six hours on the battery as it is um i've got some other stuff going on so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh reconnect it to the wall and uh let the battery recharge and run it like normal so we'll just uh plug that in there and you can see the red light comes on which means it's charging um back on uninterrupted power supply and then um once it's fully charged, that red line will turn green and let you know that you are fully charged. I just leave it plugged in because I have the freezers plugged into the unit itself. So we got six hours today with um, two freezers and a refrigerator plugged into it. And um, we're going to go with that for today. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions over my thoughts on the nature's generator in general, and I will uh, do my best to answer them. Thanks.